Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and we are back with White Moose Lake again and Fishing Planet. And I am fishing, it looks like, on a cloudy day, even though the sun can be well seen. But we are reaching the peak period for this, and recently I was able to purchase some bottom rods to make this work a little bit better, guys, as well as a rod pod within the game. So we're going to go ahead and set this up. Now this is a rod pod that actually can hold three rods. It doesn't require a simple bell. There's no it doesn't require a simple bell. It actually has electronic signals built into it. So I have taken the bells off of the bottom rods that I have. And let me go ahead and show you what I have as far as these rods go. I've got this one here, it's called a Cat Boxer 8 foot by 6 inch. It can go up to 47.4 pounds of weight. So this is a heavy, heavy duty bottom rod. And I've got some serious twine on here guys. I've got this one which is 40 pound test, 6 ounce sinker, that's .024. And I like to use the floral line with the trout because trout tend to be a little skittish and the floral line is visible once it's in the water. Um, I've got the mono leader which I believe is uh, hold on let me check here yeah 43 pound test has as close as I get to 40 and the mega tank 7000 SE is the reel that I'm using it's a 34 pound test it's not as big as some of the other stuff on here but it's going to be more than enough to pull these guys in. This next rod here is the Heavy Chaser, 9 foot by 10 inch. It goes up to 56.2 pounds. And it has the Ambusher 9000 SE, which is another massive, massive reel. It goes up to 49.6 pounds. I've got the Floral .025, that's 44 pound test. And I've got an 8 ounce sinker on here, big old sinker. Uh, the mono leader again, 43 pound test. So nothing's going to get off of here that's really big, honestly. And then we've got the, I've got a 3 odd ounce, 3 odd hook on there, and I've got a uh, 4 odd hook on there. Anywhere from about 2 odd to 4 odd is usually pretty, pretty good for this. Then the last one here, this is a feeder rod that I'm using here, but it's got a quiver 3 ounce tip. It's uh, the big alley, 13 foot by 10 inch. It's a long rod. And it goes up to 18.5. Now this isn't as heavy duty as the others, but we're going to try and focus on bourbon with this one. Uh, big River 6000 SE, 18 pound reel uh, the braid that I'm using on here 17 pound test and the mono leader 19.8 pound test three odd hook and shrimps so these are the guys I'm going to be mainly using for this now I've been focusing before this on using mostly lure fishing so and flow fishing so this time we're going to be seeing a little bit of bottom I do have a couple other rods here that I'm going to use for that if I need it but right now this is our focus because believe me if it's peak time we're going to be so seriously busy that we're not going to have time to do much of anything else all right we're going to go ahead and go back to the map and we are going to stay over on this side we won't need a boat so we're going to see if we can't focus on lake trout and burbot and probably atlantic salmon occasionally now this first rod that i'm going to put out I have shrimp on it and we're going to toss it right out here now right in this area is where we're going to be mainly focusing on and you're going to get any of those three species that I was mentioning and with it being the peak time you might even get a unique be nice and as you see that beeped each one beeps and each one has a different color and has a different sound. Now this one I have shiners on. This is a much bigger one. 
I'm already getting a bite. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> it usually doesn't take long. Well, let me go ahead and get this one out and then... See, that one's blue. It's not really beeping very much, which means he's just pecking at it right at the moment. And we'll throw this one out here. I don't know if that's too far or not, guys. And that one's red. Okay, well, he may have given up. It stopped beeping. He didn't take the bait, though. He's back. There we go. Now he's serious. Now he's serious. Let's see what this guy is. Now what's great about these is you can use these, just change the bait and you can switch over and start catching the white suckers. I think, yep, it's a lake trout. And it's a good 667 cash, not bad. Not bad at all. Keep him. Now I have been fishing here for a little while. Once I get this set out here, I'm going to show you what I've got so far, just to give you an idea. This has just been in one in-game day. Go over here to the fish keeper. Already $7,000 worth of cash and 110 pounds worth of fish. And check this out. This trophy lake trout, 29.779 pounds. 2,026 cash. Seriously, seriously good cash. Seriously big fish. This is where you can bring in the cash. And that's by doing the bottom fishing. And if you have the time and the ability, you can do lure fishing as well. Looks like they really like this rod here for some reason. Which is fine. He's look at that line. But you gotta be careful. Just because it's beeping slow like that, it'll usually say that you're you took the rod too soon. So we want to make sure that the beeps faster or starts yanking like crazy, one or the other. And there's something biting on the right rod too. Look at the bending. There it goes. Yeah, this one's not as big as the last one. We'll see what it is, though. Could be a burbot. That's my guess. Yep, it is a burbot. Go ahead and keep him. I'm going to throw that right out there again. about this rightmost rod it's and there's something going after the middle one too <laughs> that one's beeping again yeah we're really technically getting bites on all of them but there we go again This is not a big fish here this time, I don't think. Yeah, maybe. Just not as big of a fire. 757. 
Damn. Okay. I don't know if you can... If... Moving these rods, casting them over to here would be a good thing because honestly, I'm not sure if having too many in one place would be bad. Let's see. But... They're obviously biting over there very well. I think I may have cast that one out too far. Alright, I am going to cast this one out right about here. See if that changes anything. See, he gave up. Uh, he's back. Let's throw this one over here, actually. Let's try a little closer, see if that doesn't do anything. Okay. There we go. Ah, we're getting a bite now. Let's get this one in first, though. <laughs> Hopefully he won't go nuts off of that one. The shrimp do very, very well here, though. I will say that and that one's ready to go. 870. And we got it. Yeah, I think I had it out just a little too far. Once I brought that in... There you go. There's another one. Burbot. Alright, we're going to throw this one right here. hit the wrong button. There we go. And we'll throw this one back out. Where are we headed? It looks like the middle one's the only one that has not gotten any bites. I'm not sure why that is, but Sometimes you never know why it is. I think the Revan's going to go nuts here. Yep. Ooh, this is a big fish. This is a big fish. Okay. Yeah, when things get really crazy, all three of them are going off. Ooh, this one's going to be a little tougher to get in. This is not as heavy a rod, so this one's going to be a bit of a fight. Come on, you silly fish. There we go, guys. We got him. 717 Lake Trout. Yep, 
And the other one quit. It's kind of weird. Well, this is back to beeping again. We're gonna. I think we're gonna do something with this rod, though. I haven't gotten one bite off of it yet. Maybe we need to try a different bait here. Usually the shiners do really well. It's kind of strange. All right, let's see. What do we? Sh what should we try here? We've got this one. Goes for bourbon as well. Uh, large cut bait. That'll be bourbon. I don't know about these large minnows. I haven't tried them to be honest. Might be worth a. Sh might be worth a try. Or that. Well. We also got these spawn sacks too. Let's try the spawn sacks. party yeah, every now and then you just have to switch it up a little bit but I think this might be our first one on this rod yep good god he's not very well that's kind of misleading he might be actually pretty big this is really a big rod so Yeah, he's not bad. 4.372 pounds. Not bad at all. Yeah, I really like this rod pod. Definitely worth it. Worth it. And I think I might throw this out over here because I keep seeing a lot of splashing. Because I keep seeing a lot of splashing. Of course, I may not get much of a chance to do this. Snagged? How many? It's 40. That's ridiculous. Well, at least I'm already getting a bite. There we go. Betting you money, this is a Atlantic salmon, guys. Yeah, I kept seeing a lot of splashing going on over there, and I thought you might want to check to see what's over there. There you go. 525 will keep him. Usually the lake trout do like the shiners, but every now and then they want something a little different. Damn. See what we got here. Another Atlantic salmon. I think I might recast these. Seems to have gotten a little on the quiet side, so we might. Oh, it looks like there's a little bit of activity over there, so I might throw this over here just to mix things up a little bit. Yeah, watch the fish activity, guys, because if you see fish jumping, got a snag? 
Well, that would explain why nothing's biting on here. Alright. Let's try and closer this time. Just to see what's near the dock. I think this one will just kind of keep in the same general vicinity where we've been fishing. one is actually getting a bite. Just keep an eye on it. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Alright, let's see what we got here, guys. I think we might have something a little different. No, it's another burbot. <laughs> yeah, the burbot are in here pretty close, honestly. Pretty darn close. Put that there again. We'll keep it on that side, and this one will switch. There, it's better. It was looking a little tangled there. Ooh. Got us a big fish right out there. Well, shoot. A little too much activity here, you guys. Just wait. Okay, it's getting faster. Oh, are you kidding me? You little pain in the butt. Alright, let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Let's see. This is. This is not the feeder rod. Okay, let's put the shiners back on there. Actually, let's try. Let's try something different. Let's try dragonflies. And then for the first one. We'll leave it a be leave that one be. I'm gonna throw this one out a little bit a little further out, but not too much more. And for this one, I'm going to switch this out with something else too. Let's see here. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit smaller hook on it. Let's try a number two. Kind of small, but not seriously small. Instead of shrimp... Let's try mayflies. Too light. Oh, gosh. Well, we can fix that. What we'll do is we'll put a sinker on it that's a little heavier. If you run into that problem, that's all you gotta do. Let's see, do I have a... Am I out of sinkers? Eh, heck. Guess we can't use the mayflies. Damn it. Uh, let's see, what else then? Well, we could try night crawlers or grasshoppers. I 
let's see if that yeah let's see if that did it let's see if anything goes for these I'm gonna keep this kind of close I think the snags occur around here a little more than is necessary. There we go. One of these beeped. Yep, it was that one. This is with the night crawler. Can't be interested to see what's gonna get that. Probably bourbon, but I'm just. Whatever it was, it quit. And one way I can get these things going off is by getting this out. But yeah, guys, just a little helpful tip. If you see activity out there, that's where you gotta cast. Inevitably, oh, it's the middle one. Just keep an eye on it. And hopefully, a little pain in the butt doesn't take my bait. Oh, now I got two of them. And the blue one quit. There it goes. Kind of curious to see what this is. And the blue one's going off again. Oh, white sucker. Oh, there we go. Number two is going off. <laughs> Looks like I'm getting a bite on the other one, too. Yep. Oh. Nice lake trout. And we got this one, too, guys. That's a big fish. A 
Atlantic salmon. Big one, too. Alright, let me grab this one. Put it in the second rod. We'll cast this one back out. So the white suckers are going for the... Night crawlers, huh? Interesting. There he goes. Another burbot. Looks like we're getting something off of this. Yep, we just now did. Okay, let's. Gosh. Yep, there he goes again. go that's why the Atlantic salmon always bite they'll nip at it and then they'll just yank it on down Number three. See if this is a white sucker again, guys. It's not huge. No, yellow perch. Okay, that's a big surprise. I'll be dog. Well, we'll keep him. Let's see where we stand here, guys. 13,695 and it's only midday it hasn't even gotten to evening yet so and we're still on the peak so you could basically easily make up to 20,000 just through the peak in the morning hours and then what I'm gonna do is go over to here and that's gonna be the next episode and we're gonna fish for the white fish again only with three rods and we're going to see if we can finish out the night and see if we can get over 30,000 cash. But yeah, one day in game, 30,000 is very possible. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, I will see you later. And always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. Bye-bye.